Hello, and welcome to the Musician's Notepad Soundbrenner Pulse Update Update. Well, it's not really an update on the pulse, but a look at a pulse accessory. The Body Strap! Which is just what it sounds like. It's essentially a larger band so that you can place it just about anywhere on your body. It's stretchy, made of Athletic webbing. And it's fairly easy to adjust. It measures 28-ish inches to 41-ish inches. Why-ish? Well, it's stretchy, so it's got a good size range and you can fit it just about anywhere. In their marketing, Soundbrenner has shown people using the pulse on their leg, shoulder, and chest mostly. Uh, using the body strap on the leg for me was a marginal improvement on the ankle or wrist placement in terms of how well I felt the vibration. Uh, the shoulder and chest, however, were great improvements. Like, holy cow, I can feel it now. For me, placing the pulse directly on my xiphoid process, the sweet name given to the lowest point of one's sternum, gave me the clearest feeling of the vibration. But placing it on the back of my shoulder gave a clear enough feeling that the pulse was still usable, but in a more comfortable position. That's something I wasn't expecting to happen out of this, uh, after having the issues feeling it I did before, that I would end up having choices and preferences of placement in terms of how much I felt. So I put the pulse on my head to do this goofy Instagram post and was surprised to find that it worked out surprisingly well. Uh, it, uh, I could feel it extremely clearly. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it for long terms, and I definitely uh, liked it best on the shortest, weakest vibration setting, but uh, you could totally wear it on your head if you wanted to. I suppose the question now is, how has this breakthrough changed my opinion of the pulse? Well, I still don't use it as my primary metronome. For most cases, I find an audible metronome is just more secure. There's one use case that I find the Pulse incredibly useful in, though, which is working on my time. I've found that I really have to concentrate when using the Pulse. It feels akin to practicing with a gap click. When using the Pulse, I have to make sure that my own internal clock is lining up with the vibrations I'm feeling. It's been extremely eye-opening to understanding my own tendencies to either rush or drag in between the pulses. The body strap is currently available from the Soundbrenner website for $29. And that's my one issue with it. The pulse itself only costs $99, and to ask somebody to pay roughly a third the price of the product on top to get the full functionality just seems high to me. Realistically, I think it feels like a $10 to $15 item, maybe a $20 begrudging purchase. But a better suggestion might be for Soundbrenner to leave out the arm strap that is usually bundled with the pulse, and instead keep the wrist strap and include the body strap, as the body strap can be looped a second time to fit around the arm. So as I'm writing and shooting the video, I come up with the idea that Soundbrenner should charge $120 for the pulse and the body strap. As I'm editing, I go back and double check their website, and lo and behold, they do offer this starter pack, and it's $118. So good job, Soundbrenner. That's a perfect price point for all this stuff together. Thanks for joining us for Technology and Teaching. I know that the series has been fairly sporadic, but rest assured we are currently working on multiple episodes to be released next year. That being said, we'd love to know all the cool ways you've been using technology in your teaching studio. So if you've got some of those you want to share, leave a comment, send a tweet at Musicians Notes, or just drop me an email directly at otto at musiciansnotepad.com. Other than that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Let's hit it.